In this box is one of the cheapest multi-tools you can buy, and yet there is no major multi-tool brand that has anything like it. And it's kind of a shame because there is some ways in which this is better than almost anything in the market. So I'm kind of excited to show you exactly what's in it. Let's go ahead and get right to it. So this multi-tool, what I purchased, was $13. Now I've taken it out of the package and I'll explain to you why that matters. Um, the person I showed this to originally, they uh, tried to open it when it was partially open and pulled like so. And it, so it's, it's actually opens a little bit more than it should in the closed position, but I checked and the scissors actually still work. So this is what we call the Paul Chen professional multi-tool and it has things on it that you don't see very often now keep in mind that this is the way yours will come it'll look like that okay so it has a one-handed blade that has a liner lock and actually this one has no play which is surprising now remember this is 13 dollars okay 13 okay on the other side it's going to have a saw which is on a slip joint small saw like this and this file, which actually is just more of a storage, it actually comes out and it's actually a cross cut and straight file with a sharpening groove. So that's already a lot of things. It also has a pocket clip, all right? And then on the inside, we're gonna start, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna start with these. And this is the thing that you won't see almost anywhere else. So check out these shears. These are no joke. Um, how, how good are these? Well, yeah, it, they actually are pretty nuts. In fact, they will cut through a live branch up to a certain point. So these are a little slippery. They, they slip out a little bit. But yes, they are ridiculously um, tough shears. Definitely tougher than any of the other scissors in pretty much any multi-tool that I have played with outside of these. And because they are straight, they kind of, the, the material sometimes slides out, but it will still, it will still cut. So pretty impressive to say the least on that front, right? So you have these shears. This is more of a Gerber style design. And then you have <laughs> the, the part that is actually kind of, I think takes it down a notch in some ways. And that is this uh, silly little plier on the outside. Now, these are spring-loaded pliers. Um, the problem is that these are quite soft, and they're not particularly useful, but they wanted to fit a pair of pliers. And the way they did it was quite interesting. So it has a pocket clip. It has a one-handable blade. And it has a huge shear. That makes this pretty unique. And at $13, it's, uh, it's special. Um, my goal with this is to actually disassemble it to some extent because the frame is not the highest quality. Gerber makes actually a very strong frame and because of the way this is set up, I should be able to transpose this, this um, cutter potentially into an MP600. I've seen some pictures of modifications that did exactly that and I think having at least one Gerber platformed multi-tool with a pair of shears would be really cool. That's something that I definitely want to do. But I just want to take a second and point you in this direction because this is something that is pretty unique. And um, I just never seen it anywhere else. Uh, this was for a while like missing from Amazon and it's now back. And uh, yeah, $12. So if you want to have a little bit of fun, you want a folding pruning style multi-tool this is one of the cooler ones out there oh and I, I did miss some tools on the inside let's go ahead and pop this open and just like a gerber you have to open up the front to get access to them it also has a can opener bottle opener a can opener flathead right ouch that is very tight so this one is a bottle opener flathead combo and on the other side, we actually have a full three-dimensional Phillips. Now, these are slip joint in form, but actually not even half bad on this either. So you can see, for $12, this is pretty impressive. It's not going to be great pliers, but in fact, 
I would personally, if I'm going to modify this, if I was going to keep the frame, I would just be removing the plier head entirely because it just makes it thicker for no reason. And I kind of like everything else about the tool. Um, even the, the saw I could see being semi-useful, but uh, the fact that it has a one-handed blade with a liner lock. I mean, it's only recently that we started seeing Gerbers like that. They had the Gerber Flick, which I don't know why it didn't take off. It looks like a pretty strong design. But here we are with this $12, $13 multi-tool. And uh, it's got some interesting concepts. And I think that you might want to consider it if you're looking for something to throw into a gardening kit. Which is where I think this makes the most sense. With the blade, the pocket clip, the screwdriver for various different things. This would be a great tool to throw into a gardening kit. That's kind of the way I'm seeing it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this something you would consider to throw in a bag like I've described? Anyway, that's it. This is the Paul Chen Professional Multi-Tool. Thanks for your time, and we'll talk again soon.